Hi, I'm Hank, and welcome to the Bubble Bounce Experiment. By the end of this experiment, you will be able to bounce a bubble around in your hands, which seems kind of impossible, because if you've ever just tried to hold a bubble, it probably didn't go well. If you know the secret, though, you can make it work. You just need to know a little bit more about chemistry, which is basically how the world works. But first, here's a quick question to think about. Why do you think bubbles normally pop when you touch them? A, because your hands are too small. B, because your hands are too rough. C, because your hands are too oily. Or D, because the bubble hits your hand too hard. Let's find out. To do this experiment, you will need a plastic bubble tray, a pipette, some bubble solution, a pair of cotton gloves, and a packet of glycerin, as well as a pair of scissors. First, pour just a little bit of your bubble solution into a plastic tray. You only need a small amount, just a little more than it takes to cover the bottom of the tray. Next, you're gonna make a bubble blower. To do that, take your pipette and cut the end off the bulb. That's the big part at the end of the pipette. Then, dip the cut end of your pipette into the bubble solution. Now, I'm going to try and blow on the small end of the pipette to make a bubble. And then, I'm going to try to catch it with my hand. What do you think is going to happen? I didn't catch it. Well, that did not work. Uh, the bubble didn't hit my hand very hard, and my hands aren't that small, so maybe the problem is that my hands are too rough. I'll try putting some bubble solution on them to make a smooth coating. Ooh, hello there, friend. It's like you're on the surface of Mars and a whole city lives inside. All right, that was better, but still not the best. So maybe the real problem is that my hands are too oily. So I'm going to try one more thing, putting on these little cotton gloves, which I believe are made for maybe your sized hands more than my sized hands. Hello. All right. Stop goofing around, Hank. It's time to make bubbles. Oh, whoa. I feel like a magician right now. This is very good. What? This doesn't seem like it should work at all. Science. This experiment worked because of the chemistry of bubbles. A bubble is just a puff of air surrounded by a layer of soap. And a big reason bubbles pop so easily when you touch them has to do with what that soap is made of. Soap is designed to get things clean, so it has ingredients that stick to dirt and oil. The problem is, your skin naturally makes a little bit of oil to stop it from getting dry. And when you try to catch a bubble, the oil on your skin disrupts the layer of soap and the bubble pops. If you put bubble solution all over your hands, or even better, you wear those clean cotton gloves, you get rid of that problem, and suddenly you are a bubble wizard.